virtual reality. It's very common, so common that it's in the palm of your hand. All you need is your phone and a headset, be it plastic or cardboard. I'm here to show you 12 of the best VR apps for free. Now, number 12 and 11 are very similar in the fact that they show you what it's like to be in an apartment or house. Number 12 in particular is called VR Apartment. You get to explore this little neat apartment. It's nothing much, but the experience is quite cool if you're using a VR headset for the first time. The way you move is quite weird, and it's a little fast, too, so it's kind of hard to get around the apartment. That's why these are at the bottom of my list. Number 11, however, is a bit different, where it's somewhat of a two-floor house. You get to go outside, look around, you can see the car parked in the driveway, but the walls aren't solid, so you can kind of just clip through everything. That's pretty much all I have to say. Moving on, number 10. In 362. Did you know that you can watch 360 degree videos on YouTube? Using it in Google Chrome, it's very similar to the Street View controls. You can also use it on your mobile device, which is a little bit like VR. But this app actually lets you watch them in VR format. For example, the new Warcraft trailer. You can fly around in the skies on an eagle. Now you can watch that in VR, which is pretty cool. This app has a gallery of all 360 degree YouTube videos on it. It's very similar to YouTube. All you have to do is just search and find what you're looking for. Number nine, virtual Easter. That's right, a VR Easter egg hunt. It's pretty neat. You get to explore a map and try to find all the Easter eggs hidden in every crevice. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty cool experience nonetheless. Moving on to number eight. This one's a little bit different. Mobile VR station. It's basically a way to look through your videos, look through your photos in VR. It has tremendous amount of settings too. But it makes for a cool way to view your photos and videos. Number seven is a little game called VR Clay Pigeon very simple VR game that lets you take out your rage on clay pigeons. Move your head around and aim at the clay pigeons to shoot, see how many you can get in a minute, and try to beat your record. Number six, Google Cardboard. Meant to be an introduction to the Google Cardboard headset, it has many cool things that you'd expect from Google. Google Cardboard lets you visit many exhibits, lets you take an urban hike, and has this really cool kaleidoscope feature. That's pretty much all there is to it as of now. Number five. Have you ever wanted to experience grocery shopping in VR? It's a pretty cool game with multiple levels, where you try to find the items that are in your cart throughout the shelves. Eventually the game gets harder, there's more stuff on the shelves, and there's more stuff you have to get in your cart. You also have to get it in a certain amount of time in order to three-star the level and move on to the next. Number four. Here's a little bit of a fast-paced game. It's called VR Lightbreaker. All you have to do is move your head, aim at lights, break them, break certain lights and you gain more time, try your best to keep the game going. Number 3, Crazy Swing VR. There's a lot of virtual reality amusement ride apps out there, and I have to say that this one is by far the coolest experience that you can get. All there is to it is you pull a lever, and the swing starts to swing. And it really makes you feel as if you're swinging about. Touch 
This one's a bit of a fun action game called Vanguard V. You play as a woman flying through space, avoiding debris and lasers, as you try to finish your level with your suit intact. Out of all the VR games I've played, it's very impressive, graphically, gameplay-wise, and it just happens to be a lot of fun. If you had spent more time with the training module and less of the information network, you wouldn't need so much rocket fuel in the first place. Number one is a little game called Height. The premise of the game is pretty simple. You move around through a map collecting cubes, see how many that you can collect in the level, and you move on to the next. Eventually the levels start getting higher up and there's more danger to moving about. And it's a little bit faster than most games. I recommend playing it on a spinny desk here. That's pretty much all there is to it. What do you think about my list? Did you like it? Was there any apps that you think I left out that should have been on the list? Tell me in the comments below, and thanks for watching.